Good day, pupils. How are you today? Let's start our English lesson. Please take your books and your copy books and go to page number 46. And today's our new theme is about mission to Mars. Телмитсильми баллар, агошентели сабагм бастаймс. Здравствуйте, ребята. Начинаем английский урок. And let's start with the vocabularies. Please listen and repeat. Aim. Aim. Трасу, амтулу, анталану. Стремиться к чему-либо. Astronaut. 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 Гаршкер. Average. Average. Ворта. Вортанга. Средний. Be worth it. Be worth it. Лайхтабулу. Этого стоит. Board. 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 Close. Close. Жакон. Близкий. Dream. Dream. Арман. Мечта. Exploration. Exploration. Зертил. Исследование. Gas. 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 Giant. Giant. Алоп. Асазор. Гигантский. Огромный. Great. Great. Ulkin. Большой. Human. Human. Адам. Человек. Journey. Journey. Саяхат. Сапар. Путешествие. Поездка. Land. Land. Жир. Земля. Leap. Leap. Сикру. Каргу. Прыжок. Скачок. Mankind. Mankind. Адамзат. Человечество. Mission. Mission. Борош. Миссия. Remote. Remote. Кашак. Алос. Шалгайдава. Дальный. Далекий. Rocky. Rocky. Жартаста. Кузда. Кабинистый. Скалистый. Rush hour. Rush hour. Карбаласет. Час пик. Solid. Solid. Катта. Твердый. Space agency. Space agency. Гарыш агенттыга. Космическое агентство. Step. Step. Кадам. Шаг. Surface. Surface. Стынгл кабат. Поверхность. Turn somebody's attention to. Turn somebody's attention to. Бердинги зинен алдару. Сатрита точится внимание на. Wheel. Wheel. Дунгилек. Колеса. Please write down these new words on your copy books with their translations. Жанна сюздер дедаптилеринский жазабалансар. Записывай эти новые слова в тетради. Please watch this video about mission to Mars. Mission to Mars. What do an ancient god and a planet have in common? Thousands of years ago, the ancient Romans noticed a bright object in the sky. It had a reddish color and they decided to call it Mars. This was because its red color reminded them of blood and their own god of war. In 1969, Neil Armstrong famously made one giant leap for mankind. He became the first human to walk on the moon. What will be the next giant leap in space exploration? Well, it could be for humans to land on Mars. How much do you know about the red planet? Mars is the seventh largest planet in our solar system. Its atmosphere is mainly made of carbon dioxide and small quantities of water vapor. It has two moons, Phobos and Deimos, and it is home to the tallest mountain in the solar system. This mountain is called Olympus Mons and it is a volcano. It is about three times higher than Mount Everest. Mars got its famous nickname, the Red Planet, because of its rusty red color. This is caused by the iron-rich soil that covers its surface. But why are scientists so interested in exploring Mars? First, it is next door to us in the solar system. It is actually the fourth planet from the Sun. Second, it has features that are closer to Earth than any other planet. 
This means that exploring it could teach us a lot about our history and future. Did you know that Mars has got seasons too, just like Earth? But it has got an average temperature of minus 63 degrees. So it wouldn't be your ideal summer holiday destination. Scientists are also fascinated by the planet's surface. Mars has got a desert-like surface that looks like parts of Earth. There's also some water on it too, although most of it is underground ice. But as scientists say, where there is water, there could be life. Since 1976, various unmanned spacecraft have landed on Mars. Today, NASA has two rovers on the planet, Opportunity and Curiosity. These rovers are robots. Their job is to travel around and send information back to Earth. NASA plans to send the first manned spacecraft there in the next 20 years. But first, they have to make sure that astronauts can be safe on Mars. But is it just NASA that's interested in exploring Mars? Mars One is an independent Dutch organisation made up of scientists and other professionals. Their project is very ambitious. They are planning to build a colony there. They have asked people to send in applications to be the first space colonists. A group of 24 has already been chosen to train for the first mission. And that's not all. They also want to build a power plant there and grow food using massive greenhouses. After all, astronauts can get hungry too, right? This way they wouldn't need to travel back to Earth to make a tasty salad. So what do you think? Years ago, we wondered whether there was life on Mars. But could the first Martians actually be human? Let's do the tasks. Exercise 3. Read the text again and the four questions 1 to 4 choose the correct answer A, B or C. Текстті жақсылап оқып шығыңыздар, және де берілген сұрақтарға A, B немесе C жауаптарымен жауап беріңіздер. Третье упражнение. Прочитайте внимательно текст и ответьте на эти четыре вопроса. Exercise 5. Listening exercise. You have to listen to a radio show about the solar system and then mark the sentences as true or false. Бесінші тапсырма. Тыңдалым тапсырмасы. Аудионы тыңдай отырып, берілген сөйлемдердің өттірік немесе шындық екенін белгіленіздер. Пятое упражнение. Слушание. Послушайте аудио и определите, который из этих предложений правильно или неправильно. Listen, please, carefully. Welcome to the Science Show. Today I'm talking to Professor John Stewart about the solar system. So, Professor, tell me about the solar system. Where's the best place to start? Uh, with the Sun, of course. The Sun is at the centre of the solar system. It's also the biggest object in it. In fact, the word solar in solar system means the Sun. Everything else in the solar system moves around it, including the eight planets. Can you tell us something about the planets? Of course, we can put the planets into two groups. The inner planets and the outer planets. I'll start with the inner planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. These are the planets that are closest to the Sun. They are also the smallest planets, and they all have a rocky surface. The Earth is unusual because it's got both water and ice, but Mercury and Mars have some ice on them too. What about the outer planets? How are they different? The outer planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. They are great big balls of gas, and they don't have a solid surface. They can also be very stormy places. 
On Jupiter, there is a huge storm that is hundreds of years old. And on Neptune, the winds can be faster than 1,000 miles per hour. Many of the planets also have moons, don't they? Can you tell us about them? Well, the Earth is not the only planet in the solar system with a moon. The outer planets all have over 10 moons each. Jupiter has the most with 67. They are not all as empty as the Earth's moon, though. We actually believe that one of Jupiter's moons has a sea with a thick layer of ice on top. So we've talked about the Sun, the planets and the moons. Is there anything else in the solar system? Yes, there are asteroids. Asteroids are like planets, but smaller. Some are hundreds of miles across. Others are only a few meters wide. Millions of these asteroids move around the Sun, between Mars and Jupiter. There's also a large area of asteroids further out than Neptune. Four asteroids are so big that we call them dwarf planets. Scientists will probably find hundreds more dwarf planets in the future. That's fascinating, Professor. Stay with us, listeners, and we'll be right back after the news. And homework exercise, exercise six. You have to listen to the order again and take notes under the headings. Иге тапсырма. Алтынша жаттығу. Бұл жаттығу да. Аудионы тыңдай отырып. Берілген сөздерге шағын мәлімет жазыңыздар. Домашне задание. Шестое упражнение. Напишите краткую информацию данных слов. Please do all the exercises. Good luck to everyone.